Hey everyone, thanks for watching this video. Today I want to share with you guys how to install a water timer for the garden. And right here we ran the water and I have two valves. And I have a package here that I received today, the valves. But before I do that, I want to turn off the water. So right now I have the water in this valves. Turn it off the water right here. The valves that I, that I installed, they have to be powered. We have two wires right here. And what I'm going to have to do, I'm going to have to remove this solenoids right here, the valve solenoids. I'm going to have to take them off and I'll show you guys what I'm going to do next. I finally got my package and I'm going to open it right now. Let's see what I have ordered online. So I ordered two, two valves like this. Irrigational system, timer, this is the, it's powered by battery and it's the brand Dick Water Matters. So that, that's the brand that I'm going to be installing in my valve system. So this is the package the way it comes. What I like about it is that you have to, you don't have to run any wires, no electrical here, only the batteries. And I have similar valves I'm using for my grass at my yard right there you can see it and you don't have to change the, the batteries that often I mean they can last you know for over a year on each valve so what you can see it I open up the box there's a little bit the manual the instructions how to do the installation you can go through it, you can read it, but you know, it's simple to do, I think anyone can install it, anyone can do it. So what it comes, has a little digital screen, you have to put the batteries right here, inside. So you put two batteries, which we're going to do in a little bit. They are waterproof. And you got to remove this little plastic from the digital screen. Pretty simple setup. The way it comes, it comes with the valve already here. This. And I will be installing this. As I told you, the valve itself is already open. And the way for me to, to, to see it, if it works, I just have to go turn the water back on. And we'll see. But before I do that, I, I want to install two batteries inside my unit. There you go. You can see it's working right now. Let me try to okay the valve just clicked this is just this is to use manually and I just turn it off I'm gonna go turn the water on just to see it if our valve is not leaking and it's holding the pressure <clears throat> as you guys can see I tried plug it in I tried to use this valves, this solenoids to on this valves, it does it didn't work for me. So on this one, I already tried it, and I'm gonna have to cut the PVC pipes the, from where the water is coming in, and put this valve right here that came with the dig. <clears throat> in a control valve. So that's pretty much what I'm gonna have to do and I will cut it right now. There we go, and now I'm gonna unscrew this valve right here. 
in order for you guys to save some money make sure if you want to use you know this uh, irrigational timer like this buy it it comes together with the valve like this so you don't have to spend money i waste my money on this valve right here i bought it separately and the first of course i didn't know that this system you know this unit comes this unit comes with valve i didn't know it. I, I didn't know it and i installed this a couple months ago so that's why you know i use this manually but now i mean they're still good i can use them later somewhere um, somewhere else you know maybe i can resell them too but if you want to use this you know that the dig water <clears throat> um, the water irrigational system you know the the valve it comes it comes with the valve so don't waste money on this basically i learned my lesson and i recommend you guys if you guys decide to use the dig valve timer make sure you buy it it comes with the valve so i'm gonna put some white tape over and here it's really simple on the valve there is water it, there is an arrow shows the water comes out right here a little arrow and this is where the water comes in you want to make sure that you install you know the valve where water coming in the main water goes so you, you want to use that side where water is coming in. I don't really like this position, but you know, I have no choice. I'll see if I can twist it a little more. There you go. At least like this. And then what I'm going to have to do. Remove this little adapter right here. I want to use everything that came with this timer with the system okay there you go so now I'm gonna go turn the water on it's at position it's off position right now as you can see right here okay so I'm gonna remove my saw and here's what's gonna here's what's gonna happen once I click on position manually on, manually on, the water. Okay, so I'm gonna remove my saw, and here's what's gonna here's what's gonna happen. Once I click on position manually on, manually on, the water. And I turn it off. On. Beautiful. That's one valve. And here is my second valve. Beautifully done. By the way, I didn't show you guys the battery, the directions for how to install the batteries. It's at the bottom, so you don't have to even use the manual. It's right here. Simple okay so i'm gonna remove my saw and here's what's gonna here's what's gonna happen once i click on position manually on manually on the water and i turn it off on beautiful that's one valve and here is my second valve. Beautifully done. By the way, I didn't show you guys the battery, the directions for how to install the batteries. It's at the bottom, so you don't have to even use the manual. It's right here. Simple. And I turn it off. On. Beautiful. That's one valve. And here is my second valve. Beautiful. 
beautifully done. By the way, I didn't show you guys the battery, the directions for how to install the batteries. It's at the bottom, so you don't have to even use the manual. It's right here. Simple. Okay, I just came from Home Depot. I purchased some parts that I'm gonna need to finish the project that I started. So what I'm gonna have to do, I'm gonna use some white tape. I will wrap it. This is a three quarter inch tip that I'm gonna use. Now I have to connect two pipes, PVC pipes together, so the water would actually run through my valve into the into my yard, into my garden. So I'll do the same thing for the second one. And before I glue my PVC pipes, I'm using all-purpose cement. And this is a good thing that you don't have to uh, buy just the PVC. It works with PVC, ABS, PVC, VC. So um, that's, that's a good product to use is a Deity all-purpose cement that's what I'm using I like it that you know it may you can you, you can apply it on any PVC or ABS pipes you can use it for both There you go, thumbs up. And this is what I have done today and yesterday. I basically, I used, I purchased this valve from Home Depot, but I end up using the valve that came with the DIC um, valve system. So I use that system. And hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. And in my next episode, I will show you how to program this unit so you can water your garden as you guys can see I'm all done and it's time to test my water and to see if, if everything works good if there is no leaks anything hopefully everything turn out to be okay I'm gonna go turn on turn on the water So in my video you guys just saw how I installed the DIC irrigational system timer and I'm gonna put it into test let's see it there's the manual mode right here There you go, that one started, and this one started too. The valve is making a little noise. 
Okay, I see some drips right here. I'm gonna have to unscrew that and put some white tape over so there's no licks. You don't want grass to grow right here by your valves. Yes. Through the year you're gonna have to cut all this grass. And I'm gonna show you guys my garden really quick. So there you go. We planted some tomatoes right here. You can see the water. The water right here drips. And we planted some strawberry right here on top. This is the design of our garden. We decided to do this way. And you can see right here, the water is dripping beautifully. And the coolest thing, the way we designed this, so the water run through the top and it will start dripping towards the tomatoes right here. This is our garden right here. garden and here is the second side of our garden and it works too the water drips And right here at that corner, I will have one more corner section for our garden. And through this whole area, we will develop into bigger yard, bigger garden. And we want to plant more and more plants, vegetables. So I'll keep you guys posted with that too. So, as you can see, my valves work perfectly. I just gotta do a few little maintains and that's it thank you for watching guys please share this video i hope this information helped you with installation how to install them pretty simple to do nothing complicated diy i believe you can do it yourself so thanks for watching please like my video and subscribe to, to my channel thank you